Hello beautiful people, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is something I'm so excited for. So this is the Jessica Rabbit and Ciate London collection. Ah! <laughs> I am so excited for you guys to see today's video, which I will be testing out this collection. It comes with a stick lipstick, a highlighter, and an eyeshadow palette. Today we're going to test these things out and see how they work. So without any further ado, let's jump to the video. Think about Alright guys, as always, all makeup on this channel is cruelty free and so is Ciate London. Also, I am just so excited about this collection. It looks so pretty. I'm hoping it's good. I've tried a lot of Ciate London products and I really like them, so I'm hoping this is good too. But if it flops, I will let you know. But this is how the collection looks if you get the whole thing. It is such a beautiful pink box. I am so here for this. Looks looks so pretty. And yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. So inside here we have an eyeshadow palette, we have a highlighter, and a glitter lipstick. So let's go ahead and show you what everything looks like outside the box too. So this is the packaging for the palette itself. I think it looks super cute. And then this is the color scheme on the inside of the palette. I love that it's true to the character, like you have the purples, you have the reds, and then you have like the nice nude kind of colors. But this packaging is literally everything, and then on the back it's kind of reflective to match the inside of the palette. So this is like the normal Ciate London palette format, which I really like. It'll go right alongside my Glitter Storm palette, which I love. This just has a really pretty character cover, so let's move on. The next thing in the collection is this beautiful highlighter, and this packaging for this one is so gorgeous. Like, yeah, you have a really pretty cover for the palette, too, but this is everything. Like, this is a display piece right in the front of my highlighters now. This is going to be so nice. I just hope it is as pretty as it looks in the pan because, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Let's go ahead and give it a finger swatch. That's what it looks like, and then on the back of my hand... That looks really pretty, and I think it'll work on a bunch of different skin tones, because it's not, it's not like super, super white or anything, so I do think anybody, um, any skin tone can wear this highlighter. I'm very excited. So, let's move on to the lipstick. So this is the lipstick for the collection. It's very pretty. This is what it looks like, and I believe this is sold out right now, um, but this is what the actual lipstick looks like itself. I'm going to roll it all the way out for you, and it is just a glittery red beautiful lipstick and I love this glitter packaging and the glitter lipstick. It's so beautiful. So these three things are the entire Ciate London and Jessica Rabbit collection and now let's start trying things out. So before we get started I do want to swatch these eyeshadows for you. These are all just like one swirl in the pan and one drag down. I do think that the mattes don't look the best but they are all very light shades and I think it looks really nice overall. Like the shimmers are really pretty. So firstly, let's go ahead and try the highlighter because it's everything and I feel like my face looks really flat right now. So let's go ahead and give it a nice little swatch. This is the Sigma F03. I will leave all the brushes I use in this video linked down below for you. And let's go ahead and see how it looks. Okay, so it's already showing up. It is very gold compared to what I thought it'd be. So going back in a second time... It looks really gold in person. It looks really nice nice and bright and shiny um, on camera. But in person, it isn't too dark for me. I would say maybe I'd put a little bit of something, something a little bit brighter over it just for my pale skin tone. But it is just, like, golden. Like, I'm not even sure if the camera is going to pick it up because it looks really bright against these lights. And it is very blinding, but it's pure gold on the cheeks. <laughs> So I definitely think this shade is very universal. I think if you have any skin tone, this color will work on you. I know a lot of people worry with a deeper complexion if shades like this will work. This would definitely work for you. It's very golden, I think, personally. If you are as pale as me, maybe put something a little lighter over top of it just so it doesn't appear dark on the skin. But it is, like, really beautiful. I'm so loving it. Now, a lot of Ciate London highlighters have, like, little reflex of glitter in them. This one appears just to be a straight metallic and it's very beautiful so I approve this highlighter. We'll just see how it wears for a little bit just so it see if it fades away or not but this looks so pretty and my brush was dry when I applied this highlighter. Moving on to the eyeshadow palette now. This is so pretty. I can't get over the packaging. For the first thing I'm going to take the shade Honey Bunny and just go all over my crease area with it because I do have a little bit of concealer on the lid as my primer. 
This shade so far has zero fallout in the pan. It looks very nice and it applies very evenly on the eyes, even though it is a lighter color. The next shade I'm going to take is this shade right here, which is Carrot Cake, and I'm going to buff this all over my inner crease. We'll do more normal colors in the inner portion of the eye, and then we'll do the purple on the outer portion. Both of these first two shades have zero fall in the pan, like nothing when I go in here, nothing. They apply so nicely. It's kind of like um, easy to blend, like how an Anastasia shadow blends together, like effortlessly. And I'm really into it. This is the same as the Glitter Storm formula for the mattes so far. So I cleaned off my E44 brush and now we're going to go into the only other matte in this palette, which is Toon Kisses. I do kind of wish there was at least one more matte in here, maybe like a medium kind of matte shade, maybe make this one matte. But I am going to take this lavender and put it on the outer crease area. Alright, so for this Toon Kisses lavender shade, I would say I don't know if this is going to show up super purple or exactly the color in the pan unless you are using concealer on your lid first. If you use like a regular eyelid primer that's kind of clear, I don't think it's going to show up very purple. It does show up, it does blend out very nicely, but I don't think you'll get a very purple tone unless you put concealer down first. Just, you know, it's not, it's a lavender color. You're going to put down something light first, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out my lid with a little bit of a Jouer concealer on a flat brush. And we're going to carve this out just to see the full pigmentation of how these glitter shimmer shades perform on the eyes. And because my eyes look like this straight on to myself, I usually let it do that. And then it'll show me like the most to carve out. That way we can have like tons of concealer on the lid spread out evenly. So if you don't know where to carve it out at, this usually gives you like a pretty rough shape. And maybe more of a Jessica Rabbit lid. <laughs> The first time I did this little concealer trick to get like a really round carved out shape, like a little base for it, I did it by accident. So I do think if you guys just like, murr, murr, it does help. So for the inner lid area, I'm going to take the shade Drawn That Way because it's a really pretty light shimmer. And I'm just going to pack that on with the Sigma E57 brush. This brush is dry. This is what it picked up. Pretty good. And now let's try it. The next shade I'm going to try out is Sunset Boulevard. I'm going to kind of put that in the middle of the lid as like a transition to the purple because you can't really transition from purple, but we're going to try anyways. And for the last shimmer, we're going to take Patty Cake, which is like the brighter purple. I was thinking about doing this one, but this one in the center is just a really pretty purple shade. I don't wear purple eyeshadow much, so let's give it a shot. I think this looks really cute. Now I'm going to go back into that blending brush and just blend the mattes into the shimmer so it's not like a cut crease anymore. It's kind of diffused. Alright guys, so this is the finished look using the Jessica Rabbit collection with Ciate London. What do we think? I popped on a liquid lipstick. I would use the stick lipstick from this collection, but I'm not a stick lipstick person, so I want to pop it into a giveaway. You guys have really been loving my little mini makeup tutorials and my giveaways on my Instagram, so I will pop it in a giveaway soon, just because I personally wouldn't wear it all the time. I really like the look we came up with. I did overline my lips a lot with this lipstick just because it does fit the character. So if I look like a clown, that's why. But let's start talking about the products that I did use, which was the highlighter and the eyeshadow palette. First things first, the highlighter. It is so beautiful. Packaging alone, like the packaging alone sucked me in. This is so pretty. I think this is going to go in like the front of my highlighters just as like an aesthetically pleasing packaging. And then the color itself and the imprint in there is so beautiful. I think this is a beautiful universal shade. If you are extremely fair like me, maybe you want to pop a little something or something over it just because it comes off very gold on the skin. But I do think just by itself, it is definitely wearable for any skin tone. It is again a gold. So if you do have a medium or deeper complexion, this will work beautifully on you as well. I love that about this. I do think that it will work for anyone and it's worth the price just because it's really metallic. I personally love metallic shades instead of glitter formulas for highlighters. So this is perfect. And now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. 
So for the look, I think it came out very cute. It's very subtle and like everyday wearable, which I really like. I think on Instagram, I'll use more of like the darker shades and the red shades since I already have red hair, red eyebrows, red lipstick. I didn't want to use like the red red shades but this is a really cute wearable look these worked out so nicely it's definitely a familiar formula to me as the glitter storm palette which i believe is on sale on sephora.com if it is i'll leave a link down below because that palette's really good too and it, i love this i think it's such a nice color combination in here yes i would like one or two more mattes in here because there's six shimmers and three mattes but i do think this is a very buildable palette you can start off here and build onto something deeper i think you can get purple looks warm looks more golden looks out of it and it's very true to the character which i like and the packaging is everything oh my gosh <laughs> so overall i do think the palette performed nicely the mattes had practically no fallout with them the shimmers applied nicely with a dry brush i think if you applied it wet brushed or with the finger it would look even more like yeah, I'm happy with this collection. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. If you bought it, I'd love to hear about it. If you're thinking about it, let me know which item it is that really calls to you. I think I love the highlighter best just because of the packaging. This works out really well too, but I like the picture on this one more. I think that kind of suckered me in. And I don't have too many like fancy packaging highlighters, but these are so cute. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll leave the whole collection linked down below for you if you want to check it out. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!